This is an introduction to Google News. It has about 65,000 different news sources. And the reason I'm scrolling down to the very bottom is for this note, which says, all the content is determined automatically by a computer program. One of the first things you'll discover is there are no advertisements. On visiting other sites, you will notice there are ads everywhere. You may get the same ads or pop-ups for subscription. The BBC is an exception. It carries no ads. Some sites like the Associated Press do have some ads. They also have a raw news feed. This is what it looks like on the left-hand side. This is UK.Reuters, while this is Live.Reuters with live events. So if you want to get your news, maybe with one story across many sources, then news.google may be a place to visit. Here are some of the features. This version is personalized, meaning I'm logged in to Google and the location is set to London, UK. On the left hand side, we can click on topics. This is a UK edition. We can select many, many different locations. Selecting any of these will change. For an example, I've selected Mexico and you can see the stories have changed and also the language. And on the top right, there is an offer to translate. One of the biggest advantages for me is the real-time coverage. You'll notice that the Scottish Independence Campaign has a blue button. I'll come to that in a moment. When you scroll down, clicking any of the white areas opens the real-time coverage. You will see Google Plus and users that have shared. Anywhere down here shows a real-time button. And on hovering, you'll get a Google Plus share, Twitter, Facebook, and email share. On the right-hand side is a settings box. Once clicked, you will have a ton of different sliders and sources to choose from. On clicking any of the blue titles, that will send you to that particular website. So for an example, Scottish Independence, if I click that, a new tab opens up, in this case to the Telegraph, with the same story. To end this session, I'm going to click the blue real-time coverage button. And then you can see there is an array of real-time coverage at the top, videos, which scroll. And there we go. You can see that the Belfast newsletter has just published a little while ago. On the right-hand side are some top posts that have been shared from Google+, Plus. in this example, Mint and the Huffington Post. But this third one down here is an individual user. On scrolling down, there are different areas like your preferred source, in-depth, opinion, you would also notice that there is a search box which has arrived on the bottom left and you can sort by relevance or date. And to end this video, I'm looking on the right hand side, I'm just to enlarge the window because below the Google Plus posts, we have a timeline of articles. This is really helpful in seeing how popular or breaking a story may be. You can see that the Scottish story has been running for a good long time and this is the last three days. And then we can see annotations from A through to H at what has been going on on that timeline. On ending this video, it's worth saying that the real-time coverage button has been available for two years, but I'm using it more and more and more to compare stories.